Buffalo Soldiers Buffalo Soldiers were African-American soldiers who mainly served on the Western frontier following the American Civil War. In 1866, six all-black cavalry and infantry regiments were created after Congress passed the Army Organization Act. Their main tasks were to help control the Native Americans of the Plains, capture cattle rustlers and thieves and protect settlers, stagecoaches, wagon trains and railroad crews along the Western Front. Who are the Buffalo Soldiers? No one knows for certain why, but the soldiers of the All Black 9th and 10th Cavalry Regiments were dubbed Buffalo Soldiers by the Native Americans they encountered. One theory claims the nickname arose because the soldiers' dark, curly hair resembled the fur of a buffalo. Another assumption is the soldiers fought so valiantly and fiercely that the Indians revered them as they did the mighty buffalo. Whatever the reason, the name stuck, and African-American regiments formed in 1866, including the 24th and 25th Infantry, which were consolidated from four regiments, became known as Buffalo Soldiers. Indian Wars Both the 9th and 10th Cavalry Regiments participated in dozens upon dozens of skirmishes and larger battles of the Indian Wars as America became obsessed with westward expansion. Buffalo Soldiers Protect National Parks Buffalo Soldiers didn't only battle Native Americans. They also fought wildfires and poachers in Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks and supported the park's infrastructure. According to the National Park Service, Buffalo Soldiers billeted at the Presidio Army Post in San Francisco during the winter and served as park rangers in the Sierra Nevada in the summer. Buffalo Soldiers in Other Conflicts In the late 1890s, with the Indian problem mostly settled, the 9th and 10th Cavalry and the 24th and 25th Infantry headed to Florida at the start of the Spanish-American War. Even facing blatant racism and enduring brutal weather conditions, Buffalo Soldiers earned a reputation for serving courageously. They fought heroically in the Battle of San Juan Hill, the Battle of El Caney and the Battle of Las Guasimas. The 9th and 10th Cavalry Regiments served in the Philippines in the early 1900s. Despite proving their military worth time and again, they continued to experience racial discrimination. During World War I, they were mostly relegated to defending the Mexican border. Both regiments were integrated into the 2nd Cavalry Division in 1940. They trained for overseas deployment and combat during World War II. The 9th and 10th Cavalry Regiments were deactivated in May 1944. Mark Matthews In 1948, President Harry Truman issued Executive Order 9981 eliminating racial segregation in America's armed forces. The last all-black units were disbanded during the 1950s. Mark Matthews, the nation's oldest living Buffalo soldier, died in 2005 at age 111 in Washington, D.C. Buffalo soldiers had the lowest military desertion and court-martial rates of their time. Many won the Congressional Medal of Honor, an award presented in recognition of combat valor that goes above and beyond the call of duty. Buffalo Soldiers Legacy Today, visitors can attend Nine in Houston, Texas, a museum dedicated to the history of their military service. Bob Marley and the Whalers immortalized the group in the reggae song, Buffalo Soldier, which highlighted the irony of formerly enslaved people and their descendants stolen from Africa, taking land from Native Americans for white settlers. Visit our social media for more videos like this. Or visit our website www.saliakai.com.